Hi guys, I will be starting with the C++ Level New Features Part 4. So in this, I will be covering features that are override and final and I will be covering default and delete features. So guys, in the C++ Level New Features introduction, which I have covered in the earlier session, I have already described, I have divided this new features of C++ level into different different parts from part 1 to part 8 and in all parts I will be covering some of the features in this manner. I will be completing whole C++ level new features. It's convenient for your purpose to refer it at one go guys. That is the reason I have divided it into different different parts. So guys in part 4, these are the features which I will cover. So guys this is a, these are the summary of the features which I have covered in the previous part. For your reference, if you have not gone through it, please go through it. So these are the features that are auto initializer list, uniform initialization, initialization, null pointers, static assert, overlapping and delegating constructors, converting constructors, and explicit. So guys, I have covered all these features in the earlier session. Please go through it if you have not gone through it. So let's see the new features that are override and final. And so on guys. So what is this override and final? We will see one by one guys. So what is this override? So guys in C++ it is possible to accidentally create a new virtual function when one intended to override a base class function for example. So guys we have you know if you want to override in case of C++ so it can happen that you are trying to override it but by mistakenly, you are not able to override it. You are giving the syntax which will create the two different functions and which will not override the derived class wherein you are writing the function that you are writing the syntax not properly and that is the reason it will not make the function of the base class. It cannot override it actually but it, because you are writing the wrong syntax but your main purpose was to override the function of the base class in the derived class but due to your syntax issue you are not able to for example guys this is a class base where is wherein you are ha having the virtual void function you are having another class class derived colon public base that means this class derived is inheriting from class base that is this class so derived class inherits from class base so since you want to override the class function which is present in the base class that is void f in the derived class you are writing the syntax so you know guys what is the logic of the overriding if you want to override any function the syntax should be exactly the same then only you can override the function so you can see here this still this portion part actually it is same void f but this is using float and this was n so you, your main goal was to overwrite and so you were supposed to write in but mistakenly you have written float guys. So guys compiler will not understand it will think that you have created two different different functions but since you want to override it how you will understand. So guys uh, this won't get a error actually it will be it will not override actually it will create two different functions. So this is only I have noted down for you the intention was to override the base f. And to use the derived f, but instead because it has a different signature, it created a second virtual function. So your compiler won't report an issue because compiler don't know what is your main purpose. Since you have written different syntax, it will understand as a different virtual function. It will not override. So how C++ 11 provide you with a feature which will let you know that this is an error actually, so that user will understand that user have written in the wrong manner actually user wanted to override but user is writing the wrong syntax so this is a feature actually which the c++ 11 provides actually it, uh, you can use override keyword in this manner so this is a class like in c++ 11 you have same class class base having this virtual void function class derived which is deriving from this class base and since you want to override this function which is present in the base class in the derived class so you are writing virtual void guys and you have to mention the override keyword after this function so guys by this uh, you it means that you wanted wanted this function actually to override actually the function which is there in the base class so and uh, you are writing this keyword so if you so you just write this keyword after this function guys so guys the compiler will understand your purpose is to override uh, the function which is there in the base class 
So compiler will see yes, uh, you have written different syntax actually. So compiler will report an error actually. It will not create a second virtual function. So this is how I guys you just mentioned the override keyword after uh, uh, the function which you want to override actually. If you give the wrong syntax, the compiler will report for you. So guys, this is a, again a nail down for you so to understand that the override spatial identifier means that the compiler will check the base class to see if there is a virtual function and with this exact signature and if there is not the compiler will indicate an error the same thing guys so it will see compiler will see if there is an exact uh, identifier in the base class no it is not there actually and therefore it will report an error actually because you have mentioned the override keyword if you won't have written this override keyword it will simply would think that you are creating the second virtual function so it will have not reported an error so this won't serve your purpose guys so this is the feature which c++ really provides you with override let's see another feature that is final guys so c++ 11 also has the ability to prevent inheriting from the classes or simply preventing overriding methods in derived classes so guys uh, also it uh, uh, provides you ability if you uh, so guys this is uh, by using the final keyword you can make the class to not in so if, if you if you are having some class actually if you want, don't want any other class to derive from this class you simply write this keyword final after this class so that means if another class so you are having this class that is a and you are writing the keyword final after that and you are having virtual void function in it so you don't want any other classes say b c d who so whatever classes are there you don't want to inherit actually uh, you don't want these classes to inherit from this class actually so you simply write final actually after this class a so class b class c will be able to inherit it guys so let's see how so there is class c actually and it is inheriting from class a so you will get an error because you have written because uh, since you have made it uh, using the keyword uh, uh, guys you are using the keyword final actually after this class a that means you don't want class a or any other class to inherit from this class so therefore this instruction will give an error that is well and good also guys this is one way where you don't want the class to other class to inherit from this class you have to make the whole class as use a final keyword for the whole class that is there is a reason you are specifying final keyword after this class if you don't want any functions present in the class to get overridden in another uh, uh, classes actually for uh, in another classes then you simply write the function so this was to if you don't want any class to get inherit you have to write final keyword after this class if you don't want any function in the class to get inherit you write the final keyword after this function itself so this this again will produce an error if you are having class d actually public b and guys you are writing this particular uh, virtual void from the overriding the function so this will give an error because you have made this function as final actually you are using final keyword after this function so you don't want any other function you don't want function from other classes to get inherit to inherit actually this function which is present in this particular class that is you don't want any other classes having uh, functions to override this particular function which is there in this class we saw that is a reason you are mentioning final so this is a way how you can make your class final how you can make your function final if you don't want them if you don't want any other uh, classes to inherit from those classes or functions guys so let's see another feature that are default and delete one by one guys so what is default guys so guys, if a class is defined with any constructors, the compiler will not generate a default constructor. This is useful in many cases, but it sometimes is missing. For example, if you define the class as below. So guys, you know, this is a panda in case of C++. If you are writing a constructor in a class, in that case, the compiler won't create a default constructor. If you're not having any other constru any constructor in your class, then in that case, the, the compiler will create a default constructor but if you are having any constructor in the class then it won't create any default constructor for you but guys in some cases it is okay but in some cases you are having one constructor actually with one argument and you want the compiler to create a default constructor then what you can do in that case so c++ then provides you with a feature that is default you will see how to use it so guys this is a class a actually wherein you are having 
constructor, one argument constructor. So guys, if you uh, create an object actually in this manner, so since uh, you are having a constructor with one argument, the compiler won't create actually a default constructor in case of C++. This is the scenario in C++, guys. I will explain you how to use default keyword in C++11. So in C++, you are having a class A, you are having a constructor actually with one argument constructor and you create an object which is having no argument. So this will report an error because you are, because since you are having one argument constructor, the compiler is not generating default constructor for you and you have made an object with no argument. So it will report an error. So the compiler, compiler complains that you have no default constructor and will not make the one for you have already one defined. So this is a case. So guys, if you want actually in C++11 is providing the feature with default, if you want a default constructor, in case of C++ 11, you can use in this manner. This is a class. You're having one argument constructor. So you know that one argument constructor is there. You want the compiler to still to create a default constructor. So you write in this format. You want this constructor A. So this is a constructor with no argument is equal to default. So you just mention a default keyword in this manner, in this syntax, guys, equal to default. So compiler, uh, and then you create an object, guys, in this manner. So compiler will understand that, yes, there is one argu argument constructor, but still user wants uh, default constructor created because user is using this keyword default. So the, it will generate a default constructor for you and you can create an object in this manner, guys. This is what, guys, uh, it's this happened in C++ 11 it provides a new this feature with this feature so let's see the another feature that is delete actually so what is this delete guys so guys suppose we have a class with a constructor taking an integer in this manner guys so guys I have explained you all these features with an example so that it will be very much easy for you just explaining the concept and going guys in sequence actually will not help you to make understand that is the reason I have given you the example actually and the example is very much Easy actually to understand. Actually, you can also write down the code, copy the code actually directly, uh, and you can just compile the code and see what is the result. So, whatever I'm explaining, you will understand it more better, guys. You just copy paste, everything will be working fine, and you will understand more, guys. So, you can refer this document actually later. So, uh, let's see what is this delete, what is this feature actually that is delete. So guys, in C++11, so guys, this is a class A actually, which is having a constructor, one argument constructor. So guys, in C++, I first I will explain you what happens in C++. So guys, this is a class A having one argument constructor, that is this. Then the following three operations will be possible. Uh, it will, uh, it will uh, so you are creating an object with one argument constructor. So since you are having a constructor with one argument, this will work fine. Again, you are creating an object, you are passing a float actually, so this will also work because it will, this is conversion will take place, this will also work. So this will work fine and then you are assigning, um, you are writing A is equal to B, this is an assignment operator will be there used. So B is, so B will be assigned to A actually, so guys, uh, so guys, uh, uh, in this case assignment operator will work because operator is used and uh, this will also work fine guys till this much so guys if you don't uh, in C++ 11 what happens if you don't want some things to not work actually suppose if you since this is an implicit conversion will take place it's a flow you're having one argument constructor which is having integer you don't want this type of conversion to take place you don't want also the assignment to take place you can simply use a delete keyword actually in this case you just mention the delete Keyword actually, and you uh, uh, in what all uh, depending upon your requirement. If you don't want this type of conversion to take place, if you don't want assignment operator, so you just mention delete keyword actually, and this won't be happening. Actually, you will get an error. Let's see how it is possible in C plus plus level using a delete keyword. So the same example, you are having a class A. So you are having this constructor, one argument constructor. Since I told you, you don't want actually this type of thing. That is, you don't want actually. This particular, since you know this is a in, in main function, through main function you are passing a float value. You don't want all these uh, things to happen actually. You don't want your one argument constructor which is having integer to take this float actually. So simply put float on double. So you simply mention this delete actually. So this is a constructor. Mention a double is equal to delete means if the user um, 
means creating an object and passing double. You don't want that to happen. So you simply write delete actually in this manner in your class itself. And also if you don't want assignment operator, you just mention in this format the same syntax of assignment operator but with equal to delete because you don't want assignment operator to work in your class. So you just mention this. So if the user tries with this, since this is allowed actually because you have not done delete actually for simple integer, this is the main uh, this is nature actually. So you are having a class with one argument construct. This is a practical case. So you you have you want this to work as it is, as it is uh, taking an integer, you don't have any issue. So this will work properly. But you are creating an object and passing double actually. So guys, since you have mentioned in the class itself, delete, you don't want this you don't want this thing to happen. Therefore, um, this will report an error actually when the user will try to create an object and pass a double. It will, you will get an error because you have all explicitly defined um, in case of class that you don't want this type of function to take place actually, process to take place. So guys, uh, and, uh, and also A is equal to B guys. So here actually A is equal to B. So users trying to assign actually and since you don't want assignment operator to work. That is the reason you have mentioned it as uh, you have mentioned delete actually for this assignment operator. So again, the compiler will report an error. So this is how guys the C plus plus eleven provides you with the delete feature, guys. So guys, I'm done for uh, these features in in these in this part four. So guys, in part five, I will be covering features that are const const expr as well as symbolic constant guys so please be ready for c++ 11 new features part 4 guys in this manner we will be completing different different features till part 8 and till that till part 8 we will be completing all the features of c++ 11 new features guys thank you guys thanks a lot